Hi, I'm Christine Dunbar. I'm the Vice President of U.S. Sales for Global Foundries. Here today to present a video about careers in the semiconductor industry. So I've been working in the industry for almost 25 years. I have a degree in material science from Cornell. It was a degree that prepared me extremely well for working in semiconductors. Actually, for me, it was a, it was a decision that I made pretty early on in my academic career to work in the semiconductor space. We had a fabricator on campus at Cornell. I had the opportunity to do undergraduate research, which I took advantage of. And for whatever, whatever reason, it actually was to me uh, the industry that I wanted to uh, focus on in, upon graduation. And it, it paid off. It's been a really uh, fantastic and exciting 25 years. I was just recently recognized in December from the Global Semiconductor Alliance as a nominee for the Rising Women of Influence Award. It was a great honor to be nominated for this award. I was honored to be amongst such extraordinary women as a nominee, and for me also provided this really interesting re inflection point or reflection point to think about uh, the last 25 years of my uh, work in the industry and what an what a outstanding opportunity it has been. So I'm really excited to present to you a little a glimpse into the view of four women in our business who are in their very early parts of their careers in semiconductor. You get to hear from them how their experience has been in the industry, their vision for the future, and get to experience a little bit of their of their work lives here. My name is Lynn Cavolo. Uh, I've been working at Global Foundries for a year and two months. My name is Allison Snyder and I'm a process engineer. I work in one of the manufacturing departments here which is called CMP. Uh, my name is Brittany Rollison and I work in the facilities department as a mechanical engineer. I'm Ann Ryan. I work in CMP, part of the uh, AME department here at Global Foundries. I'm a senior process engineer in that group. Well, my degree is in chemical engineering. I also have minors in mathematics and business, so I was kind of trying to figure out what I was doing with my life. Um, and I actually happened to have an internship here between my junior and senior year. It was part of a requirement for my university, Clarkson University. And I realized I just really liked the fast-paced, high-energy environment that I saw here, so I decided to come back. For what I'm currently doing, it was more of a you really learn how to problem solve and how to research in school. So that's what I use most of all, is the, the problem solving skills and the research skills. Having an engineering background, you have all the fundamentals you need, and then it's just really learning more about semiconductors in general and becoming as knowledgeable as you can in that area. I think my degrees prepared me for the thinking. I understood from an engineering perspective how to approach problems, the analytical side of it, um, but it also gave me the creativity. I think that was a lot from my university to sort of think outside the box when you saw a problem and not sort of contain it to what you knew, but to ask questions beyond that, ask why, ask what you could push to the next level. When you think about your job, what, what do you like most, most about it? I like that it's there's never a boring day about my job. It's I'm always constantly learning. I have people to go to if I need help. It's I'm just learning more and more every day. I love that there's always opportunities to learn something new. Um, a lot of places, you know, you get bored doing the same thing year after year. Uh, here, there's always something new. There's always an opportunity to uh, move to a different department, learn something completely different. For me, I joined CMP, so I just try to get to know everything I can about CMP, how we impact the wafer, and how even just one process in the flow can affect the entire yield of the wafer itself. What would you say uh, to others, either either other physics majors or other en engineers, you know, that considering um, coming into semiconductors? Semiconductor is a great business to get into. It's a really fun field because you're constantly learning, constantly trying to improve, and it's really cool having the product that you make and all different devices that you use every day. You know, it's a lot to learn up front, but don't be afraid of it. Just take every opportunity you can to learn and grow. I would tell other experienced people or non-experienced people that they just need to have an open mind. You need to be very willing to work with other people. Teamwork and collaboration is huge. You need to have good communication skills and you just need to be able to ask a lot of questions. You need to be willing to open doors and just work with what you've got and push to the next level. We, we keep 
pushing and I keep using that word, but it's always continual improvement. And that's exactly what this industry is. That's what makes it so much fun.